the My Nassau County website, an inside look at how to use this website to check your property taxes before you buy your next house. That's the topic of my next video. The My Nassau County website, how to check your property taxes before you make that offer on your next property. Hello everybody, my name is Mark Schreier and I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate. You finally find a house, you want to make an offer, but you owe it to yourself to double check those property taxes. Just because you saw it on Zillow or you got a listing from a realtor about what those property taxes are, I always like to double check and do my homework before I make that offer and get all excited and then find out the taxes are way more than what I expected. So how do I do that? You basically go right into the My Nassar County website, land record lookup, and you know the address. Make sure you type in the correct uh, street number. I'm going to use a specific number. A-L-E-A, -E 556 Azalea, the town of Lubbertown. And you don't need the zip code. Check you're not a robot, if you're not a robot. And we search. We interrupt my video for a special housekeeping announcement. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. Please remember to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Now back to our video. So there's the property. It should look similar to the house that you are placing the bid on. If it's not, double check the address and make sure you got the correct address. Sometimes there's streets and numbers in different towns. This is Levittown, so that is the correct address. You go into your taxes. We got general and school taxes. You're going to basically do some basic math. You see right here, if you've never seen this before, you've got the tax year. Make sure you got the correct tax year. This is for the year of 2020. Hard to believe, but we're in 2020 right now. You're going to see total school taxes. Right here we have the total of $8,992. Notice we have an exemption. This is the star exemption. Not everybody is eligible for that exemption, so ignore it. You hopefully will get it, but if you don't, you have been a little conservative in your estimate and you know uh, the worst case scenario. So for 2020, the combined school taxes, 8992 and let's go to general taxes right now. You go to general, you see all these numbers, but you want to go all the way to the bottom and you want to see your totals, your total combined $3,377. You add that to your other numbers and you have your total taxes for the year of 2020. There's also some other things in here that are very interesting. You can play with them. Property description will give you a basic understanding of what, what the house is. And you want to scroll up to the top and take a look at the property sketch. The property sketch, this is a traditional um, square house. It's only one particular, uh, basically, sketch. A, if you saw on the house another addition to the side and it's not on this sketch, that means most likely uh, it's not taxed. So take that into consideration. Ask the homeowner, ask your realtor to double check and make sure that that piece attached to the side of the house, if it's there, whether or not there's a CO and what's going on. Because if it's not attached to the sketch, there's a pretty good chance that there's going to be an issue moving forward. So ask your attorney that as well. One other thing you want to check is your tax protection plan. All the houses in Nassau County have been reassessed and they're going to be either property values. Um, you're going to be taxed either up or down, an increase or a decrease. And we go to the statement to find out where this property is going. If you look, we see 2018-19, the tax is $10,048. And with the hypothetical tax, five-year phase in with the, with the taxpayer protection plan, it is going down to 989. This is 2021. And without it, 8604. So this house is scheduled to go down with the plan. They will take five years to get there at 20% a year uh, if, in fact, the hypothetical um, taxpayer protection plan is put into effect. It will be reduced slowly. If your taxes are going up, it will be increased slowly. It's still a little gray on whether or not this is going to go through. I know it's been passed by the state, but they're waiting for the town to adopt this particular uh, phase in. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you uh, ask your realtor if they know whether or not the tax 
payer protection plan went in or just call up the Nassau County Department of Assessment. So basically to rehash what you do is you go on My Nassau Properties, make sure you got the .gov site. You don't want to go onto a commercial site where they're gonna to try to sell you something. So you go on the .gov site, you type in the address, make sure you go into the general and school taxes, make sure you got the correct tax year and you scroll down again to general taxes to the bottom where it says total and you see right here the total taxes are three thousand three hundred and seventy seven dollars this is general taxes and it tells you everything it encompasses then you go to school taxes which is usually the biggest bite and this one tells you total school taxes eight thousand nine hundred and ninety two again remember there's an exemption in here of fifteen hundred and fifty dollars that doesn't always transfer so I wouldn't consider it into the equation and that is basically understanding also check the property description to make sure everything is there that you see on the house um, I hope this was helpful it's my Nassau County property it's actually IRV Nassau County gov however if you type in my Nassau property on a Google search this will come up without an issue this is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes and thanks for watching.